Here is another problem that uh, some of my students had a great deal of difficulty with. So I'm going to demonstrate how they could solve this problem. Now here we have a triangle and each side uh, has a length of d units. Now this is a lot like a get the goop that we had earlier in our lesson today. So maybe after they had a chance to see that goop they'll better understand how to complete this assignment. Well, A says write an algebraic expression that represents the parameter of the figure. Well, I'm going to use math practice number three. Using what I know about how to find the parameter of a figure, in this case a triangle, I will come up with an algebraic expression. So, we have a triangle which has three sides. If I were using the generic formula for finding the parameter of a triangle, I would say side plus side plus side. But here, since the value is D, I'm going to say capital P for parameter equals D plus D plus D. That's how I would write an algebraic expression that represents the parameter of that particular figure. Now B says evaluate the algebraic expression to find the perimeter when D equals 54. So I'm going to go ahead and replace all those D's. This is part A, by the way, and this is part B. I'm going to replace all those D's with 54. So 54, so my mouse was saying 54, but my finger said 55. So 54 plus 54 plus 54. Now, because of the distributive property of addition, I'm going to break this down to a simpler problem so I can solve it with mental math. I've got three groups of 50 and three groups of 4, so I have 150 plus 12, which will give me 162. So, I can say that the perimeter of this shape is 162 units. Okay. All right, class, what grade do I deserve for the way I solved that problem? 100. Okay, I told you my math practice. You want to know about how to find parameter. And um, I showed you my process, and I worked it out and gave you my answers. So for part A, this is what I would have for my algebraic expression. And part B, this is what I'd have for uh, the parameter of the triangle when D equals 54 units. Okay. Now I also, well I think I'll stop this video and make a new one, uh, make a separate video for our next demonstration.